What does that mean for you though, like making the first move? I don't know, like DMing someone first or like going up to someone at a bar or something. Yeah. yeah. But it's different for guys and girls though, you know? Like girls can walk up to a guy and be like, oh, hey, cool. Like what's going on? I just want to start a conversation. And it means nothing. You can start it and take that down the platonic route. But as a guy, if you go up to a girl at a bar, girls aren't like, okay, cool. He just wants to start a conversation with me. Sometimes you have to put yourself out there. And, you know, it's okay if girls know what you're doing. In today's dating scene, men often hesitate to approach women due to fear of rejection. This leads many to stop making first moves altogether. Women's behaviors contribute to this hesitation, as some ignore or mock men who approach them. Factors like the Me Too movement have altered men's traditional role as pursuers. Despite women expressing a desire for respectful approaches, empathy for men's challenges is lacking. With the rise of online communication, the depth of connection in dating has decreased. Men prioritize self-respect over risking disrespect from women, leading them to avoid initiating contact. Overall, men have chosen to forego traditional approaches to dating due to these challenges. When the girl initiates relationships, I've noticed, I've that noticed too. it works more. Like if a girl mm. DMs a guy, they end up getting married. Like that's literally what happens. I agree. I feel like also that's lately, guys are scared no, yeah. to make the first move more than normal lately. I feel like for really? me at least, I've been the 100%. one trying to like initiate things with a guy more than ever. And like guys don't do it at all. A man can tell there might be a connection when he takes the initiative and approaches a woman. There is a possibility that she is open to his advances and even wants him to make the first move. However, in today's society, if a man even slightly hesitates to approach a woman, he frequently receives dismissal and rejection. As a result of this trend, a lot of men no longer believe in making first moves with women. Even after a few first dates, it seems daunting to make the first move. Men feel as though they are separated from women of the past by a formidable barrier. Modern men have hesitated because of this barrier questioning whether it is worthwhile to engage with women who have made themselves appear unapproachable. Men often tell the story that women have become so distant that they don't want to spend time or feel anything for them anymore. It's not necessarily a fear of women. Rather, it's a reaction to the way women of today often ignore or mock men when they approach them. When a self-respecting man knows that making a move is likely to be pointless, why would he subject himself to such treatment? For good reason. Men have stopped making the first move or approaching women. Women's anger and desperate feelings are rooted in a deep-seated fear of being alone and vulnerable. In the end, this boils down to a fear of being on one's own, even when it manifests itself as overly controlling behavior. Strong people don't feel the need to show the world how strong they are. Because they are fundamentally reliant on men, women may give the impression of being weak. The underlying anxiety is a reflection of their unconscious recognition that they require the presence of men. It is an unspoken fact that is hard to ignore. Men, on the other hand, don't always look for inner peace in another person, so they don't feel compelled to make videos about it. In the current environment, numerous women post videos on social media expressing their dissatisfaction, pleading that men are less likely to approach or initiate a relationship. Because approaching men frequently results in rejection and labeling them as creeps, there is a clear desire among women for a particular kind of man to initiate contact. Such endeavors seem unappealing to men due to the perceived risk versus reward. Similar to financial investments, when a person decides not to pursue this goal, they can focus on engaging in enjoyable activities and building assets. When one achieves financial independence, it is possible to choose whether or not to become a parent. The woman's lack of self-awareness in posting videos in which they question or complain about men's lack of interest is perplexing. The declaration that she does not require men, while also expressing disappointment at their decreased pursuit, is the source of the contradiction. It becomes clear that women frequently gravitate toward a select few, or chad and tyranny, in the midst of the clamor for independence. These highly desirable men rarely feel the need to make a first impression. Women are left pondering the rules they accidentally set for themselves as a result of the lack of approaches from both the undesirable and desired groups. The difficult dynamics of initiating contact in the contemporary dating landscape are further emphasized by the stereotype that men are creeps, predators, or weirdos unless they fit a particular profile of attractiveness, height, fitness, and wealth. Women have a propensity to break rules and boundaries in order to meet the needs and preferences of men. 
because they can say or do almost anything without facing serious consequences. These favored individuals appear to enjoy a certain degree of impunity. These men are thought to be attractive and desirable by women. However, the reality is that these women are content when they are acknowledged and then rejected by those who acknowledged them. As a means of coping with their internal self-doubt, they engage in this behavior. Even though they appear to be confident, many of these people hide their deep insecurities behind a narcissistic façade. It is essential not to be deceived and not to lavish admiration on someone. The Me Too movement, the mantra, believe all women, extreme feminism, false accusations of assault, and the concept of hypergamy are just a few of the many factors that have changed men's traditional role as pursuers. Together, these factors cause a shift in the dynamics, which has an effect on how men participate in the dating scene. According to social media platforms like TikTok and YouTube, a growing number of women are expressing the desire for men to approach them in the same way that they did in the past. These women insist that when approached with respect and asked out, they will only respond positively. A fundamental understanding of empathy frequently eludes these women. They don't understand the difficulties men face in this situation, the reasons they don't approach women, or the likelihood that more men won't do so in the future. Over the past few decades, it would appear that men have grown weary of being misled, rejected, used, exploited, cheated on, and ignored. Many men have abandoned the conventional approach to dating as a result of these negative experiences. Why have men abandoned the conventional method of interacting with women? Prior to smartphones, the internet, and social media, there were no direct methods of contacting women regardless of their proximity. Because there weren't any other options, men had to physically approach women to show that they were interested. The procedure required careful planning, which resulted in the creation of a setting that was both challenging and possibly a little more exhilarating. People wouldn't have been able to simply look up someone they were interested in if social media hadn't made it so easy. As a result, men felt compelled to personally approach the women they admired and request their company. Due to logistical issues, most dating took place within one's own social circles. In contrast to the current era, in which individuals can connect with others worldwide and engage in real-time online interactions, distances were a significant obstacle. At that time, neither men nor women appreciated the modern conveniences. It wasn't as simple to talk to anyone of choice. Permissions and formalities were essential. Before making plans to meet a girl, guys needed to get her parents' permission before doing so. Girls needed approval. Men only had two chances to meet and get to know women before getting married, so interactions were limited. Approaching women was not just a choice, but a necessity in the absence of other options. Given the abundance of distractions prevalent in today's society, I believe that the depth of chemistry, connection, and mutual understanding was significantly greater in the past. On social media, a person looking for a connection can show interest in one person while simultaneously engaging in conversation with five others. Even on dates, people are often too preoccupied with their phones to have meaningful conversations because they are either trying to take the best picture for social media or participating in group chats. Despite our close connections, we are profoundly disconnected from one another and our immediate surroundings. In today's dating scene, men have made a conscious decision not to engage in actions that put them at risk of being disrespected and disregarded by women. Men are choosing their reputation, integrity, and self-respect over suffering humiliation as a result of the obvious decline in women's behavior toward men. Stories of extreme reactions, such as women calling the police on men just for approaching them, fuel a genuine hesitation among men to initiate. Since these incidents frequently stem from superficial considerations of appearance and financial status, it is becoming increasingly impractical for men to risk such outcomes. A growing number of men find it unappealing to approach women, leading them to avoid social situations by default. Even after the initial stages of dating, men exercise extreme caution by not making contact. It's not a fear of women. Rather, it's a recognition that approaching women has become passé given that women's typical response today is to ignore or ridicule men. Recognizing that initiating the first move is no longer a viable or worthwhile endeavor, self-respecting men are opting to forego the conventional strategy in light of these difficulties.
As a result, men have made the decision to continue with their lives, motivated by legitimate motives and a need to protect themselves. And that concludes today's discussion on MGTOW Voice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.